Hello dear friends, welcome back again to another video from my YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this particular video, we are going to understand about the most important process in the angiospermic plant that is microsporogenesis. Before we discuss the entire process of microsporogenesis, we have to understand what is the textual meaning of the word microsporogenesis. Microporo microsporogenesis is actually a combination of three different words. The first word is micro, second word is spore and the third word is genesis. Micro means small, minute, microscopic. Spore means reproductive cell or sex cell. Genesis means the process of formation. Then the textual meaning of this word is the process of formation of microspore is called as microsporogenesis. Now, what is this microspore? What do you mean by microspore? Microspores means pollen grains. Pollen grains. And we know these pollen grains are the male gametophytes. Why the pollen grains are called microspores? Because the pollen grains are very minute, the pollen grains are very small, the pollen grains are microscopic in their nature. That is why the pollen grains are called microspores. And these microspores are produced inside the anther. In the previous class, we talked about the transfer section of the young anther. If you carefully study my previous videos, the anther is covered with four antheridial walls, epidermis, endothecium, middle layer and the last innermost layer is the tapetum layer. Now, this tapetum layer consisting of a sac-like structures, sac-like structures, these sacs, they are initially, when the anther is young, then they are called as microsporangium. This is the microsporangium. This is another microsporangium. Here it is a microsporangium. This is also a microsporangium. That means in the young anther, in young bilobed dithecus anther, we have four microsporangiums. 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 Inside these microsporangium, microspore mother cells are present. MMC, microspore mother cells are present here. Here, all microspore mother cells. And these cells, they are collectively called as sporogenous tissue. They are all MMC, microspore mother cells. These microspore mother cells, they are also called as archegonial cells. Archegonial cells. Archegonial cells. The name itself giving the meaning, my dear friends. Microspore mother cell. It is a mother cell in future that give rise to the microspores. What do you mean by microspore? Pollen grain. Hence, these microspore mother cells, they are also called as pollen mother cells, PMC. It is a mother cell that in future give rise to the pollen grains. All these three words are referring to the same cells which are there in the microsporangium. They are all microsporangium. That means in the young anther, how many microsporangiums are there? There are four microsporangiums in each corner of the anther. Now, all these microspore mother cells, they are diploid in their nature. They are all diploid. They are all diploid. Let us take these cells outside for our better understanding. For example, if this is the microsporangium, Inside the microsporangium, we have these cells and all these cells are microspore mother cells. Microspore mother cells are 
compactly arranged cells without any intercellular space. They are all compactly arranged cells. Now, outer side of this microsporangium, outer side of this microsporangium, here we have the tapetal cells. They are all the tapetal cells. And in our previous video, we talked about the tapetal cells, the importance of the tapetal cells, functions of the tapetal cells in our previous video. Now, this is the microsporangium. Inside the microsporangium, microspore mother cells are there. They are diploid in their nature. Now, when the anther is young, all the microspore mother cells are compactly arranged, tightly arranged. As the anther matures, as the anther matures, anther is young. In the young condition of anther, microspore mother cells are compactly arranged and this is supposed to be the tapetal cells, tapetal cells or tapetum, tapetum and this chamber it is called as micro, microsporangium, it is the microsporangium. When the anther matures, the microsporangium get enlarged in its size. Now, this size become enlarged. The size has become enlarged. Previously, this microsporangium was very small because the anther is young. When the anther matures, the same microsporangium develops in its size. It's become bigger in its size. As a result of that, the microspore mother cells, they develop space in between them. Previously, they were supposed to be compactly arranged without any intercellular spaces. When the anther develops in its size, sorry, when the anther get matured, the micro, microsporangium develops and it becomes bigger in its size. As a result of that, all these microspore mother cells, they develop space in between them. They develop the space in between them. Now, let us take only one cell outside for our better understanding. Now, what cell it is? This is the microspore mother cell. It is a microspore mother cell. Only one cell we have focused here. Only one cell. That means in all the cells, the same process is going on. But we are targeting only one cell for our understanding. This is the microspore mother cell. And this microspore mother cell, as we have discussed earlier, it is diploid in its nature. It is diploid. That means it consists of two sets of chromosomes. Now, this diploid microspore mother cell, it undergoes meiosis it undergoes meiosis we know meiosis is the reductional division whereas mitosis is the equational division when a diploid cell undergoes meiosis it is results into the formation of four haploid cells in mitosis only two cells are formed whereas in case of meiosis four cells are formed. Meiosis is the reductional division whereas mitosis is the equational division. Now, which type of cell division is taking place in the microspore mother cell? It is the meiosis. That means it results into the formation of four cells. Four cells are formed. And now you people can answer this. If a diploid cell undergoes a meiosis, then it results into the formation of four cells, whether all these four cells are diploid or haploid. The answer is very simple, my dear friends. The answer is they are all haploid. Why the haploid cells are formed? Because of the meiotic type of division. Meiosis is a reductional division. Now, all these four cells, they remain attached to one another. They are not separated. They remain attached to one another. They remain attached to one another like this. This may be one possibility of attachment of all the four cells. Or the cells may attach in this way also. It is also the possibility. 
and this is one cell second cell third cell and the fourth cell is back side of this here we have got four cells one cell second cell third cell and the fourth cell in this situation first cell is here second cell is here third cell is here and fourth cell is back side of this and there is one more possibility of attachment of all the four cells this is one cell second cell third cell and the fourth cell this may be the possibility in some plants the four cells they may attach like this they may attach like this this is the first cell second cell third cell and the fourth cell they are the four possible ways of attachment of four cells form after the meiosis performed by the microspore mother cell if the cells are attached like this this condition it is called as iso bilateral iso bilateral type iso bilateral type if the cells are arranged like this then it is called as tetrahedral tetrahedral type if the cells are attached like this one above the other such condition or such type of attachment of four cells they are called as eyes they are called as linear linear type of attachment if two cells are at the top and at the base there are two cells one above the other such attachment it is called as decussate decussate type of attachment and it is also called as f shape attachment now there are four possibilities of attachment of the cells after meiosis now all these cells are haploid in the nature and there are four cells 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 back side there is a four 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 that means there are four cells which are haploid they are formed by the meiosis process hence all these are called as pollen tetrad they are called as pollen tetrad what do you mean by tetrad tetra means four four cells attached to one another now the question arises why they remain attached to one another if this is the cell this is one cell one cell this is the second cell first cell is attached to the second cell by a substance called as callose callose that means all the four cells in the pollen tetrad they are held together by callose they are held together by what substance callose here we have studied there are four possibilities of attachment iso bilateral tetrahedral linear decussate but the most common in the angiospermic plant is tetrahedral type it is the most common that means majority of the angiospermic plants they form tetrahedral condition in their microsporogenesis now after this after this all these structures are formed inside the microsporangium and this microsporangium is surrounded by the taper tail cells taper tail cell secretes an enzyme what is the name of that enzyme recall my previous video what is the name of that enzyme it is chialase taper tail secretes chialase enzyme this chialase enzyme dissolves the callose chialase enzyme dissolves the callose as a result of that four cells they get separated due to the activity of chialase enzyme secreted by the taper tail now they are the four haploid cells which are formed after that the taper tail it secretes the sporopollenin and the sporopollenin is coated the sporopollenin is coated on the outer side of this cell 
on the outer side of the cell and that becomes the exine layer and this will become the entine layer. That means now our pollen grains are formed. Pollen grains are formed. Pollen grains are haploid and they are formed by the microspore mother cells after performing a meiosis. They are all pollen grains. Pollen grains. This is the entire process of microsporogenesis, my dear friends. Now, what may be the scientific definition of microsporogenesis? Microsporogenesis means it is a process of formation of microspores or it is a process of formation of pollen grains. Pollen grains and microspores are one and the same. They are giving the same meaning. Microspores or pollen grains. Scientific definition of microsporogenesis is the process of the process of formation of formation of microspores microspores from from which cell they are formed from which cell the microspores are formed they are all microspores from which cell they are formed they are formed by microspore mother cell the process of formation of microspores from microspore mother cell microspore mother cell by which type of cell division through meiosis through meiosis meiosis where this entire process is taking place it is taking place inside the microsporangium so the process of formation of microspores from microspore mother cell through the meiosis within within microsporangium microsporangium it is called as microsporogenesis i hope you people have got an idea about microsporogenesis in our next video we are going to understand about the female reproductive part of the plant that is gynosium till then stay home stay safe thank you so much